Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley's Lullaby Nursery. <clears throat> and in today's video, I have River on camera. And he is the Kai Sculpt by Gudrun Legler. And he is number 615 out of 1,500. So he is a limited edition sculpt. And the reason why I have River on camera today is because I've decided to put him up for adoption. So um, I've just noticed that I haven't really been bonding with him. Yes, I know I've recently got some new babies, um, but they're not really the reason why I'm selling him. I'm selling him simply because he's one of those babies that I noticed I haven't really been interacting with. I don't really hold him. I'll change him, but then I'll put him back in storage. I don't really do much with him. I don't like, I don't make time for him like I do with my other babies. So I've come to decide that he is, sorry, it's time for him to leave the nest leave the nursery so yeah i decided to put, put him up for adoption now he is going home with a box opening um not that it really matters but he didn't come to me with much he only came to me wearing a onesie a diaper and uh, a diaper on his head and then wrapped up in a blanket actually sorry he wasn't even wrapped up in a blanket um but that's just because the artist was or sorry not the, not the artist the seller because she's not the one who made him painted him she was the, a collector so i was i am his second mommy but um she uh i guess didn't have the time to wrap him up because she was working or something that day so she did the best that she could he did come protected so that was a good thing but he didn't come to me with anything other than like I said the onesie and two diapers um, so I'm going to be sending him home with this blanket that you see here so it's a nice little uh, fleece on one side and then a nice soft material on the other it's white and gray and it has like darker specks of gray all over the blanket it's actually really cute and then he's gonna be going home with this onesie that he's wearing and the hat on his head and of course his COA and then along with everything that's in this box here so on top of it as you can see there's a little puppy I'm just gonna stand over here because it's hard for me to see what I'm doing from that angle, so I'm just going to show you guys on this side. Let me just move him over here. Okay, so he's going to go home with this lovey. It's a puppy, and he has blue and white stripes on the blanket, so it's a puppy lovey. Oh, sorry, it's a lovey blankie. It's on this side. Oh, you can't even see his face. Okay, we'll put him here. Okay, and then I'm going to send also a pair of they were sweet. Give him a little bit of character, so I said, I'm going to send those off with him. Okay, and then, of course, some diapers. So there's three diapers here, plus the one that he's wearing, and these are newborn size Huggies diapers. Okay, I'm going to be sending this Passy clip. Now, the pacifier that comes with this is drying right now, because I did have to magnetize it for him, so I will probably show that in the um, box packing video once he's adopted. Okay, and then I'm going to send this Passy set. So it's a pacifier and it comes with a little bag to put the pacifier. 
fire in. That way you don't lose it. And it's a green pea themed. I thought it was cute because he is a bald baby. He doesn't have any hair, not even painted. So I thought the green pea would suit him because he's bald. <laughs> Um, so I'm also going to be sending this simple um, gray onesie with dark navy blue trim and it is size 0 to 3 months and it's by a brand called Monkey Bars. sprout but it's a really cute blue onesie with um, like a darker blue or greenish color cactus sprint all over it isn't that so cute and I thought it would look cute with this hat so there's this long sleeve onesie to add something a little extra for the new mommy or like I said daddy I have nothing against people or sorry men using women's products it's whatever floats your boat you do you and then so I'm gonna wrap him up in the blanket with this white and blue striped ribbon and then I was thinking of using this gray velcro ribbon to put around the box to hold it together when he's in transit but everything that I have 
have ready for him is all going into this cute little congratulations box. And there's a cute little baby elephant down there blowing up water from his trunk. Isn't that so cute? I got this at the dollar store. I thought it was a cute little, it was only $2.50, so not bad. But it was a cute way to wrap up the gifts in an easier way. Instead of using tissue paper, buy a box, put everything inside of it, you're good to go. So I like that idea better. So I'm going to put everything back in the box. heavy boy too. <laughs> Here he is. Okay. So, hi. <laughs> As you can see, he has a stork light on his forehead. Right there. That red line above his eyebrow. Or his eyebrow bone. And he does not have any eyebrows. If you can see. He has a little bit of yellow on his nose. He has some rosy cheeks, like baby rash, kind of. Um, he does have some modeling, but it's not crazy. Like, it's very lightly done. Um, he does have rooted lashes, and they're almost like a ginger. Yeah, they're ginger. So he's a ginger baby. Um, he has some veining which I know I've said in other videos he doesn't have it but I guess over time looking at him I noticed some of it and it's not so much veins they're just like green um uh, like blotches from the sponge to make it look like veins underneath deep underneath the skin so that was my bad for not noticing that the first like month that I had him but he does have some kind of green veining on him. Um, he does have tip nails and gloss nails. 
Um, for those of you who go on reborns.com, I will be posting him on there for sale. So you'll see in the pictures his details better. I'm not sure if my camera is really picking it up right now on video, but uh, yeah, we'll see in the pictures on uh, when I post him on reborns.com uh, how it comes up. But um, one thing I did want to point out, so he also, sorry, he does also have the gloss, like the Elise paper glaze, not so much on his eyes, maybe just in the creases of his eyelids, like in between where the lashes are, but he does have a lot of it in his nose, like his nostrils, on a little bit on his cupid's bow, and then on his lips as well, and even in his ears, both of his ears have gloss. But one thing I did want to point out, oops, sorry. So after I first got him, it was about, I think like a month or so, I was making a new posse for him. And I guess some of the glue somehow got on the, on the side that touches his mouth. And it was, a, it was dry, but not fully. It was a tiny bit sticky. And I left the pacifier on, I don't know if it was overnight, but I know I left it on long enough where it did peel off a little bit of the paint and you can see it, but it's something that you have to actually look to see. I don't know if you can see that white line underneath his bottom lip, that small, tiny white line, but that's what I'm talking about is what the pacifier ripped, like the, how much paint it took off. And, um, I did get really upset about it at first because at this time I was, you know, he was still new and I was still bonding with him. So it upset me. I did cry a little bit because I was like, you know, I ruined him. But then I looked at it and I just said, you know what? It looks like a scar. It honestly looks like he had a really bad scratch and it healed and he has a scar. It could have happened when he was in the uterus. It could have happened overnight when he scratched himself. You know how babies scratch their faces all the time, but it just looks like a scar. So he is now considered a boo boo baby because I ruined his face. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But like I said, to me, I look at it as a scar now. So I hope, you know, whoever wants to purchase him look, can see past that because he is still a beautiful baby. You know, he's still a Kai sculpt by Gudrun Legler. He's still a limited edition baby, so he's beautifully done. It's just <laughs> that one boo-boo. So the pacifier that I'm making for him now, I'm making sure I fit, like I was careful of how much glue I put on it. And right away I put the felt pad <clears throat> while it was still drying so that it's it his mouth is, you know, protected with the felt. But <clears throat> yeah, that is something that I did without realizing that the glue wasn't fully dry. So a little tip for you guys who are new with this reborn stuff, when you magnetize your doll's pacifiers, please make sure the glue is completely dry before you put it on them because this could happen. It could have been worse, but yeah, it still happened and I'm pretty, like I'm over it now, but at the time it was very upsetting. Especially when he, like, you have a new baby and you're still in, you know, you're getting to know them, you're bonding, you're enjoying them, and then all of a sudden this, like, something like this happens, and yeah, it kind of ruins that fun of getting to enjoy a new baby. But I got over it, like I said, and I just put in my head, you know what? He has a scar now. He scratched himself, so yeah. <laughs> so he is for sale. He is an amazing sculpt. Like he's just so cuddly. He's he's not overly big. Like he's he's heavy. He has good weight in him. Um, I had to reweigh him because he came to me. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It wasn't him. It was Samuel, my newest baby that I got, who came super super light. He came weighted very well. I don't think I ever reweighted him, to be honest with you. He's still the same weight from when I got him. But, yeah. He is for sale. 
for adoption. Oh, he's going home wearing this uh, sleeveless onesie that says, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so it's a cute little summer onesie. But yeah. Let me bring him closer to the camera. There we go. Face is a little dark. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave it there. And I hope one of you will snatch him up soon. He is definitely an amazing baby to have in your collection. <clears throat> He's, you know, very, very nicely detailed. He feels great in my arms. He's super cuddly, super, um, like, very nicely weighted. But, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Um, if you want to see, you know, another baby in another video, let me know. Any suggestions for videos, please leave it in the comments. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So until next time, everybody, take care and stay safe. Bye.